in such an Eric greeting here. Today I have a bit of an unusual video for you. Let alone because we're filming this in this random piece of forest and you know, I usually don't film outside in the same location for a whole video. But we're currently doing a series of road trips and we decided that we could actually combine another idea I had with that. Because for a while now, I wanted to try military food packages from different countries. And you know, why not do that as our lunch for one of the days? So today I have the Lithuanian package number seven. I think this is an eight hour package and I'm not sure if they do 24 hour packages because most countries at least in Europe seem to separate that so you have you know single meals or like full day rations and this is definitely not a full day that's why it's so small they usually would come in like a big carton if they would be full meals um, but I also have no idea what this incorporates anymore like I completely forgot which menu I ordered and I can't read Lithuanian so I can't even read it so we're just gonna open it and see what's inside now Alright, let's see. Definitely a lot of things in here. A lot of which I have no idea what's, what it is. Uh, it's very interesting even going through that and even figuring out what is what, to be honest. This is gonna be interesting trying to hold them to the camera, but I'm gonna do my best. Here we have crackers. Lemon flavor instant drink. black tea, a pack of sugar, chocolate. I do not know what that is, but I would guess it's probably like jam. Oh god, here's the interesting stuff. Um, a plastic spoon. Wet wipes. I think these are what you put into it to, like, you know, cook. Almonds. And then here's the thing that says a tray for heating, which you basically build up and, you know, this is becoming your heater. There's also I'm not sure if that is for stirring around, I'm not sure. This is probably the food you gotta heat up. This is gonna be the funny part, where I'm probably also gonna burn myself and cry. <laughs> so here's my meal. Um, stewed pork with buckwheat. My favorite part is it doesn't really describe how you're supposed to make that. There's no... Oh wait. I was like, there's gotta be descriptions because I have no freaking idea what I'm doing here. <laughs> Why did I decide to do this? Tear at A. Do not eat the heater pad. Do not eat the heater pad. Yeah, um, that's not obvious. Insert the unopened meal pouch into the heater bag. Okay, this is honestly gonna be a whole mess, but I'm just gonna try to follow the eight step plan without burning myself. We'll see how well I will do that. So first of all, you have to tear this area off, I guess. And also most people that probably will find this video by searching it will expect something serious and I'm just, I don't even know what I'm doing. Uh, so then you insert the food pouch into this. And then you pour 45 milliliters of water in. You know, in a real life situation, you would probably have stuff to make water safe to drink and you would fetch water from the river, which first of all, we don't have that in this small package, so we can't really do that. Also, there's no river around here, so we're just gonna skip that part and use bottled water. And then you fold it over the meal pouch, so I guess here, and then you gently shake it. I'm so gonna burn myself.
yeah, the sixth step is literally fold it and make sure the heating pad is underneath, which... Did I do it the wrong way? Oh yeah, I did. Oh! <laughs> yeah, suddenly it works. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Uh, first of all, there's gas coming out of that, so I'm very happy we did not do that in my apartment. I don't really want to touch it, but like the problem is it's not really covered entirely, and I'm not sure if that's normal. Um, it looks like it's hot, there's like steam coming out of it, so I'm somewhat positive that this works. <laughs> but also, I don't think the steam is supposed to come out, so... <laughs> Maybe this will be better next time. Right now, this is really just trial and error. Yeah, I guess we have to wait now for 10 minutes. However, just to not, you know, waste the time waiting, I decided that I'm just gonna, you know, try all the other small products in here. They you would probably consume maybe over the course of the day, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, so we're gonna start with the chocolate. Mmm. It's relatively dark chocolate, but it's actually pretty good. Cracker. Ah, those even crackers. Hold on. Is that like bread? No, it's definitely some marmalade. Oh my god! I'm not sure what that is, but it's really freaking hard. I think this is supposed to be like bread, because, you know, what else would you do with the jam? Two more things to add about the uh, bread and the marmalade. First of all, this is strawberry, and we honestly both couldn't figure that out until I googled what it is. I'm not sure if it's like just too sweet. I think once I know it's strawberry, I can tell it's strawberry. But like there's a weird kind of sugar in there, which makes it taste just odd. Mm. One thing I like about a bread, however, and that does absolutely not work with the jam actually, is that there's cumin inside. Because like in, in like Slavic countries in Europe, they have like these bread rolls with cumin in them, and I love them so much. I wish Germany would have them more frequently. And I would love that for the taste alone, even though this is way too hard to choose, so you know. But I find strawberry marmalade a weird combination to that because cumin isn't sweet so why put a sweet marmalade to a obviously not meant to be sweet bread that's kind of weird to me like why not use bread without cumin for marmalade but whatever and then the almonds which are probably just gonna taste like almonds surprisingly yes the almonds taste like almonds. Who would have thought? I would welcome a little bit more salt on there, but I know that's not a priority here. I mean, I guess I get why all of these things are within the package, because all of them make sense nutrition-wise, even though I'm not sure about the nutrition of chocolate, but I also have no idea on, you know, nutrition in general, so I'm not one to speak here. Uh, as for all the instant drinks like the lemon thing and the tea. I think I'm gonna make that at home and I'm gonna insert a clip here of me drinking them because we didn't think of that so we don't have mugs or something with us. Okay, there's some leftovers we didn't really get to because we had no time for that and I'm just gonna do that now. To this date, we still have not figured out what the heating tray is supposed to be used for, so... Whatever. Then the, like, burning tablets. Stefan still believes that they are only there for cooking the tea, but like that seems so extravagant and why so many? Um, I also have no idea what this is. And then obviously the matches that we also never used. I'm not going to demonstrate them in my apartment because I don't want to set my apartment on fire. And I am kind of afraid of matches if I'm going to be honest. 
And then we have the drink options here. Well, options, they are like technically you should drink all of them. There's, first of all, a golden Chalon black tea, which Chalon is nice as far as I remember. Some lemon flavor instant drinks with vitamin C without sweetness. That's a very interesting package. It also says multiple times the same thing on it, which I get how that's printed on there. But there's also no information. There's nothing like cook it hot or make it cold or I don't freaking know. And then sugar for the tea. I'm not sure if Greenfield is like a big Chalon company, but it smells like black tea. How surprising. Then I have a glass for the suspicious lemon flavor drink. How much water are you supposed to dissolve this in? Yes, it does smell citric. Oh, that's not half as bad as I thought it would be. That's actually kind of good. What? Frankly, if there would be a soft drink with literally this flavor, I would buy it. I also think the tea looks thick enough at this point, so I feel like I should bring the tea bag away. And because it's black tea, I'm also gonna put some milk in. And since I think this is just regular Chalon, I don't think I need to taste it like without the milk. This is what not really manufactured for the military. This is just a regular tea brand I pack into it. But yeah, good tea, good instant drink lemon thing and that being said let's go back to the actual video i'm still confused because like so here's the thing this is cooking these are like for burning stuff and you know obviously matches to put set them on fire i'm not sure if you use them to like you know cook your instant drinks because that's literally the only thing i can see where those would be used unless for keeping you warm but that also seems a bit like, you know, outrageous. So I don't think that's that. I'm afraid, I'm not sure how hot this is. <laughs> There's probably better ways in doing that. Way better ways. I honestly, I don't need that, so I'm honestly gonna wipe this because I'm not sure if there's chemicals in the whole package thing. So instead of having the chemicals on my hand... <laughs> oh, it's full of soap! Okay, finally it's time to open it. I'm very excited because this is the main thing of this video. Okay, this is not as hot as I thought, so that's good. I can kind of stir it around. Oh, that looks appetizing. <laughs> Does that look appetizing? <laughs> this looks really appetizing, doesn't it? It's actually not that weird. I mean, hmm. I wouldn't really call it good, but it ain't that bad. It really just has canned food vibes, like spam. I feel like that's what this reminds me of, even though this looks nothing like spam. The consistency kills me though. 
So it mostly tastes like buckwheat with spices on it, but then the consistency is like if you would put meat into a blender. But then not not make it a soup, but like, you know, stop like halfway through. It's really, I don't know how to describe that. It's really odd. The consistency is the worst part about this. Mm. If this would be more like a stew, I could see myself eating the whole thing, honestly. But I don't think I'm really looking into the camera much, am I? As for the heating process, I'm pretty sure it's not as hot as it would be. Because, you know, I didn't see there was like a sticky tape thing around it to close it. So that's why all the gas went out and that's why it def definitely didn't get as hot as it would have had. Because all the gas went out. It is kind of lukewarm. Like it's not cold, but it's not hot. And I think it would have been really hot if that wouldn't have happened. So, my fault. I don't think I would get a Lithuanian military package again. But I don't regret doing this. It's actually, it has been pretty fun, to be honest. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Did you have any experience with military food packages? Did you ever get any or do you know people who had some? Leave that in the comments. I would be really interested to hear your stories with it. Or for example, if you have recommendations for military food packages from a certain country that you would recommend me trying, e either because they're good or because they would be funny to react to, I really don't mind either way. And if you like videos like this one, or travel vlogs, candy tastings, hauls, unboxings, story times, or just random shit I suddenly come up with, I would advise you to go check out the rest of my channel, and if there's more content you'd enjoy, maybe just subscribe and stay up to date with all of my upcoming content. Until then, hopefully see you soon.